Welcome back for our third and final video. This one's a good one. It is all about the power of communication. And communication will either make a project or break a project. It's either fully alive or it's dead. There's no in between. We've got to work really, really hard at understanding the basics, the fundamentals of communication. So just to recap, series number one, we had building the perfect team. And the three major takeaways in building a perfect team is understanding the client's goals, number one. Number two, aligning the resources, aligning the people, the professionals, making sure that the client's goals are in alignment with the people making it happen. And then the third thing is creating agreements for the entire team so that that team can move forward together, right? So we're in alignment and now we're moving together because we agree on things. We've discussed that. S second series is mastering the budget, the B word, the budget word. So first things, we need to get clear on exactly what we're looking at, the information, okay? The scope of work, the plans, the specs, we need to get really clear on what we have in front of us. Second thing is we're gonna organize the information and we're gonna analyze the information. We're not just gonna organize it, we're gonna organize and analyze the information. And then the third thing is we create an audit of all this information and we know what we know, but more importantly, we communicate about what we don't know. And that's also in the budget. We have information, we've analyzed it, we know information, but what are we missing? Let's make sure we dig into that part of the budget so that we can set the budget up with a solid foundation in the beginning and then as we work through during construction, we're putting together a budget that had missing details or that still needs to be determined. And that's a really important thing to work through. So that was series number one, series number two. Now we're on three, the power of communication. And it's a massive, massive lifeline for a project. So we all know when we miscommunicate, right? When someone leaves a voicemail and we don't return the, the voicemail or we hear trades talking back and forth and an awareness like, huh, that doesn't sound like what we've talked about. I need to listen in on this and make sure that we're all marching together. We've had mixed messages between several different professionals on a team, not on purpose, but people have understandings and we need to make sure that these layers of understanding is all packaged in the same understanding, right? So there's our interpretation and how we interpret things and making sure that we're all on the same page before we execute. Just yesterday, I was in a meeting and I walked outside and there was a gas line going in and I had talked to the main company, the big, big company, it's a gas line. I talked to the lead foreman. I get up there and I'm not kidding you, the gas line was in the wrong place. So of course, I, you know, I, I pulled this person aside and said, hey, this is in the wrong place. I'm not sure what layers you worked through, but I can tell you I am the stopping point and this gas line needs to be over here. And so to me, I was communicating with the wrong person, not on purpose, but it wasn't the person who was installing the gas line. So we got that cleared up. There are other things like maybe there are updates along the way during construction where one area is at one point in time, it's wood flooring and now it's changed to tile flooring. Well, these layers of information get built up and what's our final answer? We gotta make sure we're organizing that and communicating that as a team. Just the other day, I walked into my house and our dog, who's very chewy right now, a two-year-old dog, is chewing up shoes overnight. And I saw my daughter's shoe after our walk that night. And I thought to myself, you know, I should really let Katie know that these shoes should be placed up high because we're gonna wake up in the morning and that dog is going to chew up the heel of the shoe. Brand new set of shoes for cross country. Guess what? I didn't say a word. Yep, I'm buying her a brand new pair of Hoka's. So again, just an awareness around communication. That's a really, really important thing. So how, how do we organize all of this? Well, what we do is step number one, we create buckets of communication. And so just stick with me for a minute. My goal is to create systems, but I have to create buckets to then create the system. So 
We have trades that we need to work with on site to move a project forward. That's a bucket. I have an internal team and we have systems that we've put together so that we are working through our communication. We have clients and professionals, another bucket. We have weekly meetings. We need to organize and communicate that information really, really well. Some of it's visual, some of it's auditory. Mockups are visual. How do we communicate with clients visually? Well, we create mockups so we can all see and feel what we're going to actually execute or not execute. Budgets, systems for budget communication. It's not just writing down a number, running the math, and this is the answer. Mm -mm. A budget needs to be, needs to have a system of communication. We work through all of that in the course that we offer. So again, we wanna put these buckets together, number one, and number two, execute with consistency. Execute with consistency. That's a phrase, that's all together. Just because something's written down doesn't mean it's gonna get done. So our system is analyze the situation, organize the situation, write it down, communicate the situation or what we want to solve with the right people. And then the last stop is to close that loop. It gets written down, it gets analyzed, it gets communicated. Now we need to make it happen and we're gonna close that loop. So that's a system that we have for executing in a project. Long story short, create your buckets, number one, to create your systems for those buckets and close those loops. Again, the power of communication will either make a project or break a project. Remember that it is that serious and it is the heartbeat of all projects. Again, it's the heartbeat. It is what keeps this home alive and happy and strong. Wrapping all of that up, series number one, we talked about aligning or creating the perfect team. Two, the second series is managing a budget from start to finish. And number three, to top it off, we have the power of communication. Okay, thank you so much, we made it. So really appreciate you spending some time with us. I know everybody's time is super valuable. If you still wanna continue this journey, we are going to do a live case study of a home that we've built. September 24th, we will go live and we will talk about how we've applied these strategies to the home building process so we can give you sort of a behind the scenes, pull back the curtain feel for how we actually applied all of these strategies. We hope to see you there. Thanks for spending some time with us and we'll see you soon.